met up with one of their older homies and it turned out to be that full I seen when I was like a little kid. So, you know what I mean? It's kind of a weird. It was like deja vu, right? Because like, yeah, like he was giving me props and shit and I was like, damn fool, like you're the reason why I even like started doing this shit. But yeah, I don't know. It's one of the homies though. We'll that was in Hawaii, huh? We'll yeah. Uh, that's the homie Arise One from uh, PM2, Pointless Mesh. And uh, Rock Steady Crew or something like that. Rock Skittles, I forget what it was. Oh, yeah, that's dope. Do you remember what your first name was that you wrote? Shit, I don't even remember. I think it was like some, some stupid, like, drop fucking two or four or some, I don't know, like some number, some random number that had no significance. Let's <laughs> see. When'd you? 592 or something. <laughs> when did you kind of get into your name that, you, that you, you're running with right now? How did that come along? Uh, I actually gave this name to my homie, and then uh, he started writing it, and then I seen him write it, and I was like, damn it. I kind of like those letters, so I, I kind of took it back from him and started writing it more than he was. Uh huh. And then uh, he, he just ended up writing like his old name. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And then you said from Hawaii you moved to Vegas. How did that happen? Uh, shit. Well, uh, so I got in a lot of trouble when I was younger and uh, ended up in this shit called drug court. And uh, they pretty much terrorized my life for like the whole time I was in high school. And I was being locked up all the time. I got sick of it. So I uh, moved to Vegas because my mom was moving to Vegas. And I looked up the laws and technically since I was in juvenile drug court, they couldn't keep me there if I didn't have like a parental guardian that lived right. there so so your mother was kind of like your way to kind of get out right yeah yeah i played it smooth i got out of rehab and then i fucking cut off my ankle monitor and i ran away for like i don't know a month showed up to court with the ankle monitor gave it to them and i was like i'm bouncing to vegas and they're just like but <laughs> they didn't do nothing didn't about do it yeah. yeah so because they're it was either that or they were gonna lock me up that day till i was 21 because they got jurisdiction over there like over you until you're 21 for some reason yeah. and i just turned 18 so i was like fuck that i'm going to vegas and what was like vegas like vegas is a grimy ass place man <laughs> nice crew though i like vegas it's just fucking it's a, it's a, it's a sunny place for shady people <laughs> a sunny yeah. place for shady people <laughs> i lived there bro like for a couple years and i never knew like all the homeless people that kind of live in the tunnels and shit. I never, you know what I mean? I guess I yeah. kind of just stood in my area. I didn't really have a car, you know what I mean? So I was right there off of like Cobalt and Flamingo. Oh, yeah, that's the freaking... Right where Tup <laughs> Tupac got blasted. Like, yeah. By Ellis Island and the old Imperial pa or old Maximum, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know exactly where that the is. A&P on the corner. Yeah. So what was like kind of life living in, like in Vegas, man? Were you getting into more trouble or were you kind of um, doing more graffiti or? Shit, I, I actually wasn't doing graffiti for like a lot of the time I was there. Because uh, I, I had a kid and, you know, and I was doing the kid thing and then mm -hmm. that didn't work out with that baby mom and then had another one and then, you know, a different girl and then.